Hi, Speechies. It's Lisa. And Zahra, and welcome back to Speech Fairies. Today we're going to be doing an Earth Day special. That's right. So we have a few books and a game to share with you today. So I guess I'll start. Sure. So first we have Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Mickey Goes Green. It has a reusable tote bag inside. So it's about when Mickey goes to Star Lake with his friends and they find a lot of garbage inside the lake. So they decide to help clean it up using their bags. So in the back, we have sort of like a little box. With a little pocket? Yeah. And it comes with Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Earth Day tote bag. So around it says, think green, think green, think green, a bunch of times around the Mickey Mouse shaped earth. Cute. It's called My Bag and Me, and it comes with a free reusable bag as well, just to get kids into the idea that they should be caring and saving the earth. So again, this one is a nice rhyming one. So next time you go to your favorite store, remember your bag when you go through the door. So it shows a little guy and his mom with their little reusable bags. So every little bit helps if everyone can help remember to bring those reusable bags because I always forget. So let's see the... And then the back has a little pocket. And you open it. And you open it and there's your reusable bag. So next I'm going to be doing a step into reading level one look for the Lorex by Tish Rabe. There's like big fish, little fish, swish, swish, swish. So it's a good rhyming book. Anything Lorax is great for, if you can find, there's lots of Lorax themed stuff around after the movie came out, so you can use that. This is a nice simple one for preschoolers because they can't sit through the entire Lorax book. We have a pop-up Lorax as well, I think, somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is called Why Should I Save Water? And it's part of a series. So other titles in this series are Why Should I Protect Nature? Why Should I Recycle? Why should I save energy and why should I save water? And there's the ISBN. And it's really cute pictures. Nice and easy talking about wasting water and where the water goes. And it talks a little bit about the water cycle. So it's just a nice introduction to preschoolers about why to save water. So this is my probably my favorite book here. It's called The Curious Garden. By Peter Brown. I'm going to read the summary. Oh. One day, a curious boy named Liam is exploring his drab gray city when he comes across a struggling garden. He decides to help the plants grow, never imagining what he is starting. As time passes, the garden takes on a life of its own and spreads across the city, changing, changing everything in its path. Bit by bit, the city is transformed into becoming a lush green world. Beautiful illustrations. I think it won some awards as well. So if you haven't so. picked up the Curious Garden before, it kind of this is near the end where he's starting to make everything green and it's covered in moss, which we love moss. Mm -hmm. And then other people start helping him. And then it turns into a beautiful green city. So we really like that one. This is the last one. It's called I Am Planet Earth. And it's a scholastic look. It's a bit older one, I think, but it's a nice preschool one. Just really familiar, just early, early vocabulary. So it says, I am planet Earth. And it talks about where it is in the solar system. And then it talks about, I have very, many fine things. I have cool, wet water. Lots of concepts in here, if I remember. Hot, dry sand. So it just gives them a little appreciation for all the different things on the Earth. I have leafy trees and jungles. And here's the ISBN. And the last thing we have to share with you is a game. My uh, favorite. It's in French. It says, J'étais au recyclé. That's right. Very good French. This one is in French. I bought it in Montreal, Canada, while we were away one time. And I paid full price. Not too neat. It's one of my favorite toy companies, Orchard Toys. And they make really nice, simple games. This one's rated 5 to 10. 
but I'll show you the cards that come with it. So it comes with different categories. So we've got cans, paper, clothing, and bottles. So in our city, we throw everything in the same recycle container, but not all cities do that. So it's got all the different categories, which is good for working on categories. And look at this. I haven't even punched them out yet because I work with preschoolers. So, But it's good for working on categories. So it's got all the different things that go in the different categories. I'll show you a couple other ones. It looks like there's some little bugs in there too. I'm not sure where they go. In the landfill. Fish bones, gross stuff, boys like that. Bottles and cans. It's actually pretty easy. I think my preschoolers could do it. More bugs. Comes with this little spinner so you can move along the track. And it comes with this cute three dimensional garbage can, which is all ickety. And on the back, you'll be able to see it's got a cute game board that you put together. It's like a little puzzle. So that's it. You don't need to be able to read the directions. You can just make it up as you go. Orchard toys, jete, urisuke. So we wanted to just wish everybody a happy Earth Day. So please comment below if you have anything to add. Like. like. Yep, you can push the thumbs up to give this video a like. And subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks to everyone subscribed so far. We actually have a winner for the giveaway. That is Cindy M. So congratulations, Cindy M. Go to our Speech Fairies Marketplace. And you can choose anything you want as your prize. So thank you for everyone who subscribed. We're really happy. We're very excited that everyone's joining our little speechy toy adventure. That's it for today. Happy Earth Day. And we'll see, see you very soon. soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye for now.